acceptable usage policy uh, when any employee or vendor get access to company assets then it should be used only for official or business purpose so that's acceptable usage and that's why we have this policy in place uh, document control page confidentiality statement and table of contents so that's the objective of this policy it applies to all employees contractors management company owners external vendors uh, these are the roles and responsibilities so the scope would be computer systems server networks mobile devices uh, software application databases all basically this is all uh, assets of a company so general usage only authorized users with the valid business needs can access company uh, resources and they uh, it should uh, have approved and issued devices the it should be only from approved users and from the approved devices Uh, the user access responsibilities uh, only authorized users with the valid business needs can access the system resources of uh, of the company and it should be uh, having a proper business purpose so personal use should be limited in scope the unacceptable activities like employee should not up I should not upload any documents to the Google Drive or access uh, or share information outside the job function. The uh, employee cannot use another user account or password, so uh, that's uh, unacceptable use. So we have a list here. Now, apart from these things, we have access based on least privilege and separation of duties so use of uh, share or generic or default vendor accounts is not permitted so every user should have their individual account every vendor should have their own individual vendor account auditing and monitoring so detailed auditing and monitoring of the system activities user action should be done data protection standards so data protection standards data encryption requirements so all confidential or sensitive information should be encrypted at rest or uh, in transit encryption keys must be managed using a centralized key management solution so that's uh, one encryption requirement we do have endpoint security so the company laptop should be encrypted by biclocker having antivirus or anti malware uh, protection running it should be updated and fully controlled by company it it team physical security controls uh, protecting customer data uh, this is important intellectual property protection so any software code product design uh, or other intellectual property created by the company employees is considered confidential and it's company property so any uh, any employee should not reproduce or distribute or to un unauthorized users so this is for email and internet use handling sensitive data private activities so mass email distribution example employee is sending email to a group or to everyone's staff so this is prohibited or internet bandwidth should be preserved for business purpose uh, employees should not do exterior streamings or gaming uh, it should be avoided so it should not be used for personal use it's uh, uh, all the internet and company assets should only be used for official purpose mobile device security so employee using mobile devices uh, it should have a passcode or password protection uh remote wiping capabilities should be there so we have something called as mdm mobile device management solutions so this so using this solution it team can uh, remotely wipe uh, the data company data from the mobile employee mobile 
And these are some of the requirements on mobile devices. And accessing and syncing corporate data. Data should be containerized within the managed environment. So we have for both iOS and Android. And we should use MDM solutions, mobile device management solutions. Uh, so once employee leaves the company, they should return all the devices, mobile devices to the company. For remote access, employee first need to install VPN on a secure device and then connect to company network from that VPN. And on that VPN solution, multi-factor authentication should be enabled. Now for security incident handling and reporting, that if there is any kind of uh, incident occurring, then this is the procedure that employees should follow. They should report it to security, security team, uh, isolate, uh, uh, isolate, the, isolate the asset which is affected, disable or reset compromised user account. So these are the list of actions expected by the employees. And apart from other things, these are generic template, employee training and awareness, so all employees should undergo training on acceptable usage policy and this should be repeated at least once a year. Compliance and monitoring, apart from that exclusion matrix and uh, if anyone needs any exception from this policy then they can uh, follow this document which is policy exception form. This is policy reviews and updates. And this is employee signature. So employee should read this policy and sign this document and share it back to HR team. HR team will protect this document. So this depends on regulatory requirements. Example, if uh, we need to uh, say a formulation based entity for 10 years, so HR team should preserve such documents for 10 years. Uh, text it onto acceptable usage policy. If you have any of uh, the suggestions or feedbacks, do comments uh, and we'll try to check and include that in, in this policy. Thank you.